How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and you are watching every LEGO Star Wars mock at Bricktastic. So I'm up in Manchester today at the Bricktastic Lego show run by Fairy Bricks and sponsored by Brickset. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go around and have a look at all of the Lego Star Wars mocks on display and uh, show you guys what the, what the convention has to offer. Okay, so this is one of the creative builds that I really, really like where it's not based on anything realistic. It just uses the Star Wars theme. Uh, so here we've got like a gymnasium kind of shopping mall kind of style thing. A few different uh, different shops and different areas amongst this build. So we'll go start at the outside. We've got an archery target practice out here. We've got Stormtrooper doing singing in the rain. We've got Palpatine doing some story time. And then you come inside. We've got some pull-up bars at the back some stormtroopers doing weights um, we've got some other yoga or like some sort of fitness class going on in the middle here we've got a little salon at the back the boxing ring looks really cool and then we've got an ice hockey rink there as well with the snow troopers and then you come upstairs and there's like a costume store we've got some batman suits and some different hats and stuff We've got an amputated maul with some crutches, which I find hilarious. We've got Anakin with no, uh, with one hand missing, Count Dooku with no hands, and Luke also with no, uh, a hand missing. So that's really funny. Some remote controlled TIE fighters causing havoc. And then we've got what seems to be like a washroom for all the armor. So yeah, very, very creative build. I like this a lot. So here we've got some Millennium Falcon builds by Dave Heffernan and this is really, really cool. Um, is it like a junk build, I think they call this, where they basically follow the instructions for a set but use any pieces uh, of any colour um, and yeah, they put it together. So obviously the cockpit, probably the only original parts to the, uh, to the build of this set, but yeah, that's pretty cool to see. I think they've got uh, models of, I think these are based off of, or are, maybe are builds of those um, Comic Con exclusive sets or whatever they were. There's also the uh, Sith Trooper there as well. But we've got this Chrome Falcon, which just looks so, so sick. How they've done the Chrome is just so sick. And you can still see the like Lego um, on like the writing on top of the studs, which is just getting, look at that shimmer, it's so, so sick. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about Chrome in a Lego set. So uh, what's the space this one? Little BB-8 build as well, it's really, really cool. And then we've got this uh, this version of the Falcon as well, which I'm really not sure what it's on. I wish there was like a little bit of a plaque so you could read, read a little bit about this. But yeah, three really, really awesome Falcon builds there. So it's really cool to see Rebel Lug come to Bricktastic over in the UK. A lot of the international builders have come and flown in, a lot from Europe. So yeah, I think we've got some really cool Star Wars builds here. We've got a TIE fighter here on a bit of a stand, some crates, that looks really, really nice. We've got this X-Wing here, very, very cool. These are all by Infer, who has designed stuff for Brickball, I believe, in the past. Got some uh, use of the old gray amongst the Star Destroyer there, which looks really sweet. I like that a lot. The Technic piece for the that's used here for the A-Wing looks really, really good. Like, that's come together really well. We've got a little micro version there as well. We've got Mando Starfighter. And then again, another mini version. And then a mini version of the Naboo Starfighter as well. Also got some of the Vulture Droids there. 
We've got Anakin's pod racer. I love this. I would love for Lady to do like a UCS version of this. This and Sebulba's pod racer, maybe a little bit bigger than this one. I know this is minifig scale, but yeah, just to have those ships be uh, blown up into UCS scale, that would be that would be cool to see. We've got the V-wing. Never really, uh, never really no took much notice of this ship, but, but um, recently I've seen a few different mocks for it, and it looks really, really cool. I like this one specifically. We've got some smaller builds here. We've got a little ATRT, an half trooper on it, Droidica, some Staps, and a uh, armored assault tank. I'm actually going to sell a lot of my armored assault tanks, so I want to get like just. I'd rather have a couple of custom ones rather than loads of different versions of the different sets. So yeah, I might be uh, I might be having a look at this one, maybe maybe building this one, and then we've got um, a size bench to Starfighter which is really, really nice. This is from, oh, it did feature in the, uh, in the like Clone Wars that a lot of people know, but it also first featured, I think, in the 2003 Clone Wars. There's some really nice mocks on display here from Rebel Lug. 